we're going to make something called straknar. This is a really old recipe from Puglia. I don't think it's made very much anymore. In my research, I found this recipe, so I decided to try it at home. But I needed something to make it on, and that is this. This is called a cavarola board, and it was made by my friend Terry Murray. And you can actually find these if you go online and uh, you look for Italian pasta implements, you can find these boards. And this is a board that has some grooves in it, almost like a herringbone pattern. And what you do is make your pasta doughs you saw me make in the food processor, and then I just, just rolled it out a bit. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of flour. And then we're going to put it on that cavarolo board right over the top. And then we just take our rolling pin and roll over the board. This helps you to get the shape, or the imprint rather, of that herringbone on the other side. So you have to press a little bit. And I, I floured the pasta because I don't want it to stick. And if you use this cavarolo board, Frequently, eventually it becomes seasoned and it will not stick. So roll over the pasta with a rolling pin and then you lift it off and you see you have that beautiful impression of the herringbone. And then what you have to do is trim, trim the edges. You can re-roll those again. So you trim these outside edges and then you want to cut it into squares. Make them about, oh, two inches or so. And we're gonna make a really interesting sauce to go with this pasta. You just cut them like that and then cut them into squares. And you wanna put them on a, a towel, preferably a cotton towel, not a terry towel because a terry towel will uh, catch the pasta and then you'll have fuzz all over it. And the sauce for this is going to be very interesting. And it's actually a sauce that uh, I found out about by doing some research about straknar. So this is a very unusual pasta. So there are our squares. Now we can take this and make that sauce. Don't they look beautiful? Straknar all ready to cook. But first we want to make the sauce for them. And this is a sauce that's uh, named in honor of San Giovaniello, whose feast day is celebrated on my anniversary, November 27th. You can send me a card. Anyway, here's the way this sauce goes. Right in this pan, I've got cooking down some lamb, about a half a pound of ground lamb with some garlic and a little bit of olive oil. So it's nice and brown now. We're gonna add the other ingredients to this. And for it, we wanna have some tomatoes. And here you wanna use just a small cherry tomato would be perfect for this. This is not going to be a real soupy sauce. So we wanna stir those around gently. And then to this, we wanna add something else that comes from Puglia, which are olives. Cherignola olives, so called because they come from Cherignola, which is in Puglia. And that is the best way to smash an olive. Instead of getting an olive pitter, you can just take a clean can and just smash those olives to get the pit out because we want pitted olives here. So give them a coarse chop. If you can't find Cherignola olives, well then use some other olive, but please don't use canned olives. They are not the same thing as olives cured in brine. So there are our olives, and they're gonna go right into the pan. Give that a nice briny flavor. There are the olives, isn't that pretty? That's a really pretty looking sauce already. And we stir that around. I'm gonna let this, this sauce cook about, oh, 30 minutes or so, just until those tomatoes are wilted down. Then we want some capers. Here are capers. You can tell now that this is gonna be a little bit of a spicy sauce. And then we wanna give this some salt, some black pepper, and some parsley. So here's some flat leaf Italian parsley that we've just chopped up. 
And now we give this a quick stir. And if your pan seems dry, you can add a little bit more olive oil. I'm going to add just a tad more olive oil to this. Just a tad more. That's good. And we let this go. You put the cover on. And about 30 minutes later, this is going to be cooked. They're not going to take very long to cook. Maybe two to three minutes. So we made a lot here. Get the next go around. In they go. And our last sheet. Once they're in the water, you want to give them a stir and then just let them go for about two minutes or so. So there they are. Let me get a spoon. Give them a quick stir. Put the cover back on the pot. And in about two minutes, we're going to be ready to drain those. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we need to stir that around. Let's get a couple spoons. Look at how delicate that looks. You just really want to mix it in the sauce. I wish you could smell this. This is really beautiful. Looks like little sheets of lasagna, doesn't it? So really give it a good stir. Make sure you get a lot of that tomato and all of that beautiful lamb all over the pasta. And then you want to turn this out onto a nice platter. Handmade strachnar with lamb, tomato, olives, garlic, hand done, and ancient pasta from Puglia. And now, all that needs is a little bit of cheese.